Good evening everybody and in this video I will uh, show you something a little bit different. I've received a couple of emails um, asking me about the fact that um, by showing the way I do analyze the market it's normally something that occurs within the day for the day and in the majority of the cases is true in the sense that it's also that I don't want to bother that much myself uh, thinking about tomorrow and trying to see even because I know that the majority of time uh, just because maybe we don't enter on a proper level with our trades we can occur also in retracement so it's better every day to open and close the positions and then reset for the next day unless we are in a good position since the beginning but as I was saying um, some of you were asking about the fact if the kind of analysis I do can provide uh, informations that are reliable even for uh, solid swing trading like trading all the week so what I did it was as usual open a, an account for demonstration and uh, let's see what is going on at this moment and tell you what I did as you may notice today we are the 16th of uh, February 2018 it's Friday and these are trades that I injected uh, three days ago so on Tuesday and um, relying on a monthly chart for the majority and monitoring on the weekly, daily and four hours in order to understand if the retracements were something that were overcoming my positions or that would be uh, acceptable retracements and trading of course always without stop loss and I will take profit right now uh, just to show you what it's about but first of all Let's just grab and tell you why I, do, I did trade these four currencies. Uh, as we notice in a monthly, let me just put this in, uh, in more evidence. We had these values, let's put them here so you can see also what I'm talking about. Uh, we have these four, these values of these major currencies uh, that were Japanese yen very strong with a very strong magnitude strong in the sense that was the strongest and oversold so ready to be to go long okay against uh, three major four major currencies even if US dollar now has retraced a lot uh, that were USD uh, on Tuesday USD was with a very weak, uh, weaker magnitude and anyway Australian dollar GBP and CAD were also very weak and overbought okay so this was the combination that suggested me to pick up trades going short in Aussie CAD, USD and GBP against uh, Yen going long. Okay, so this is the basic concept that led me to uh, generate this scenario of my trades. Okay, and as you can see the results at the end of the week so uh, the 13th, the 14th, the 50th and the 16th of uh, February so on four days and I could have also traded a little bit earlier but I woke up after the Monday and if I would have woke up like probably um, 
two hours early, I would have taken the same trades, but in, even in a better position. Let me show you what what happened. Um, so let's see, for example, OZ Yen. Let's magnify this. So let me also help myself with this aid so you can better understand my let's see if I can make it okay so around this zone okay I got I went short OZ Yen and as you may notice I could have realized this this profit at maximum but I let the, the trades go just because I was running simultaneously and, did, and somehow if a currency was retracing another currency was going down so just to make it clear, now I will go into, into another uh, of the currencies that I traded. Same day, same mm, time of trading. See, a couple of hours ago, it would have been more easier. We had a, a, a Sunday, uh, sorry, a Monday of ranging phase and then this, this uh, fall also with a strength of Japanese Yen that was kept for the majority of the week so USD Yen and then CAD Yen around this area as well so Yen was strong against this if they, if they tell you Yen is strong then you have to decide what other currencies are weak to be traded okay and finally GBP also GBP look GBP um, was retracing and getting some strength uh, occurring in some moments where the, the trade was resulting uh, above the line so with a, a kind of negative uh, situation for as regard GBP Japanese Yen but as you may guess with other currencies that were running in in a profit direction the overall balance was anyway positive okay so this is what it and still some of them are showing what is revealed here uh, let's do also this so we have Japanese yen And uh, we got CAD negative, GBP negative, OZ negative, and USD negative. Okay, New Zealand dollar in the monthly situation was quite strong, plus 1700. So New Zealand dollar was something that I should have avoided to trade against yen. Also, Euro was kind of stronger than USD in my readings. And also Swiss franc. So I held myself uh, excluding two currency pairs, Swiss franc and New Zealand dollar, that would have not been valuable to maximize my profit. And I focused my attention reducing the exposition only on uh, this pair, so CAD, uh, GBP, OZ, and USD, weak with one strong yen. Okay, so with this kind of Proportions I got only four 
elements that I decided to trade <coughs> trying to attend to a monthly view so as usual I will do now my balance even if I could let it go a bit more but it's almost time let's see in a four hour it's almost closing now the American session okay and probably we know what we are going towards now that is the end of the week as well so even if I could have take a bit more for demonstrational purposes you can see here the profit in terms of point so 104 105 pips 200 pips 144 pips and 116 pips which is this amount okay I don't want to mess up with some kind of blind days of the weekend I can reread the markets with the beginning of the new week and see what it did and what it markets the setup that will take even if probably some of these setups will occur that would be even considerable retracement so it's better to get out of the market and not leave our money in the market and also I got already some swapped Okay, so it's uh, it's likely not to go further so I will now close the trades and do as usual the save a detail report okay only four trades which are these ones clear simple I was pretty lucky in the sense that uh, um, these values in the monthly were just sustaining uh, all of them and in the in the weekly and in the daily even if there were some retracements there was uh, anyway a presence of the yen majority of time strong there were moments where in the day yen was a bit weak and for example GBP was getting strong and that was exactly when uh, now I, I don't have any more let me show you okay I was starting here okay and when GBP was getting strong and yen was getting weak this was what happened but only with the GBP against yen while in the CAD yen there was this situation so even here yen got a little bit weak helping the CAD to make some retracements even here okay and even here but after a big rally down okay so it's also something that uh, I have to keep in consideration that I'm going towards uh, a point of good refining of my formulas uh, applied to the forex market and and gaining some more accuracy and in order also to demonstrate that it's possible also to make um, a more long-term trading in the sense of the week where you have just to keep monitor your um, trades and the overall behavior of the currencies a couple of times a day and let them go till the end of the week 
um, I think that also swing trading if made with accuracy and per time so not when it's too much late because of course I could have read this situation let me grab the Japanese the GBP Japanese yen if instead of entering here in the GBP Japanese yen I was entering here I would have not gained that much profit at the end right and I would have been exposured a lot so never do that if some of the move has already occurred or even in the Aussie yen look at here let's say that I would I was reading uh, Aussie yen to trade not on Tuesday but on Wednesday for example and I said okay Aussie yen sell I would have had this then I would have had this up and down then I would have had this so I was I would have been in the ranging phase the important thing is to read per time uh, certain values and take a proper action and then give to the to our trades the opportunity to make the oscillation and diversify the risk so that by trading multiple assets simultaneously uh, even if I was in negative for example with GBP Japanese Yen I was in positive with USD, OZ and CAD against Yen this is the approach that I use no matter if it's uh, day trading or swing trading and it's quite comfortable to see that no matter the, the short or medium term what is important always and that always led me for the evaluation if I was correct or not is the fact that I am evaluating the currencies against currencies not currency pairs and uh, I always evaluate the market performance and in terms of strength and weakness for the first parameter let's say but also now with this new setup of formulas also in terms of overbought and oversold okay with this very nice result for this week I thank you for watching for the many mails I've received in this week and I also hope that those who were writing me talking about this topic they had some answers and um, I wish you a very nice weekend and as usual good time and space bye